And we're back, and who's at the door? Ringing Constantine's doorbell. It is... Delivery? Postmates. Ah, uh, it was Sneaky Sneaks. <laughs> what the hell are you doing here? I'm sorry. You texted me. No, I didn't. Yes, you did. It didn't make a lot of sense. Something about loo, paper, beer. Oh, that was Kenny. <laughs> Is that because he offered her the toilet paper in the first season or whatever? I'm really, really sorry no, no, about what no, went down no, and let no. me say it. It's really best if you... Exactly. She's still wearing her wedding ring, though. You're missing MI6? Absolutely not. Who is it? I have no idea. I quit. Ooh, they're both out of it now. Carolyn's so still in it. It's a pill. You're a journalist? Did I touch with her? Oh, God, no. I'm totally done with her. Done with that. It's end of story. I was gonna say Nico. Oh. Yeah, we see each other every few days. He's, you know. Yeah, He's, you know? What does you know mean? And ooh, was she talking about Carolyn or was she talking about Villanelle when he asked, are you still and what about you? in touch? Yeah, yeah, no problem. Kenny, it's not. What about that weapon from season two that we never figured out what it was? So I've been looking into them loads. <laughs> Leave her be. She, she's been through enough. You just don't seem very happy. That's all. Who says I want to be happy? I'm alive, isn't that enough? <laughs> After I was shot. <laughs> Alright, I'm just gonna tell <laughs> this stranger about my ailing grandfather to kill her. Oh my god. Just scoot the ladder over a little, damn. Oh my god. You dumb bitch. That wasn't a very creative way to kill somebody, just because she fell off the ladder in a very, like, would die type of way. But I feel like you could probably get away with. See, she wasn't even dead. Doing that dash and move. You had me working at the weekend. That's because people get murdered at the weekend. <laughs> I'll see you when I'm back. As I wish, actually. Right. That's what, what? I'm staying. Why is he still living with his mom, though? All right, then. Why don't you just move out, my guy? Because I'm not going to be told what to do anymore. Clearly. Life is just a series of trade-offs, Kenny, for all of us. And my job is no different. Now, you might disagree with my decisions, but I... Now, do you want fish and chips when you come back? Yes. Yes, please. Right. Their relationship is so funny. He's in the garden. Thank you. Is it Nico? Is he like psychologically fucked up from Villanelle? One day at a time, and you are getting better this, with every this day. This is something you can fix if her parents think she killed herself. You know that? Oh, so he's like lying? Oh my god. Well, I never wanted that. Well, you didn't do much to change it, did you? Dump this guy. Just stop making an effort. I'm over it. And if we're being honest, we both admit that I deserve more. Then it's just that. wash your hands of him. You're annoying. And more than you. Great. Bye. I'm over it. I don't want to waste any more screen time on him. I'm not saying that she didn't destroy his life. I'm just saying, like, yeah, he's pissed. Justifiably so. And he's saying, I deserve better than you. I don't like you anymore. Blah, blah, blah. Okay, then I don't want to see him on screen anymore. Like, I don't want to waste time on that. <gasps> it's fine. You're not even crying because of her. You're crying because, because you feel stupid. Oh, this is secretly, is this secretly about Villanelle? Subtext? It's stupid. It's pretty chill. Chill works. She's back in, baby. It only took two seconds. <laughs> Please don't kill Kenny. I will never forgive you if you kill Kenny. Oh my god, he's gonna be dead. I swear to god. So this is what forces her back into the game. Justice for Kenny. Maybe he was just kidnapped. Oh, I think I have your phone. Where are you? <gasps> no. 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 Take the stairs, goddammit. Fuck! I 
I'm so mad. Come on. There's no justice in this world, man. I'm just mad. I mean, I guess I shouldn't be surprised just because it kind of seems like it's anyone's bet at this point. Like anyone's up for grabs to die. And we know it wasn't Villanelle because she was in Barcelona. Why you gotta do me so dirty, Killing Eve? Man, that's so disappointing. I mean, apart from the last little bit there, that was a good episode. I'm liking the introduction of these new characters. Man, I really thought that like, Kenny was gonna be okay, and that they were all gonna like, he and his mom were gonna come back together, and they were gonna work it out, and they were gonna get Eve back in the gang, and they were gonna track down Villanelle or something. I just, that's so disappointing. I mean, as far as first episodes go, they had to have something shocking, right? I feel you can't really start off the season with not something like that because now it makes everyone want to keep watching. I'm just disappointed. I'm not surprised, but I'm disappointed. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching this reaction to the premiere of Killing Eve season three. Please follow me on Twitter and subscribe to this channel for more. Check out my Patreon and <laughs> I don't know, man. Uh, this is not a great way to start the season for me because I am sad, but I'll see you guys back here next time because I know this is late. So I'll see you guys back here very soon for Killing Eve season three, episode two.